Welcome to today's video. Today I'm gonna to be doing a first impression on pretty much exclusively one brand. I might mix in one or two products from another brand, but I have pretty much everything I need to do a full face of makeup from Wander Beauty, and this is my first introduction to the brand. I really haven't tried any of their products up until a couple of days ago, and the only product I've tried is their um, eye masks. So I haven't tried any of their cosmetic products until today. So. I don't really do a whole lot of first impression videos, but I have been really curious about this brand and I received this PR package about a week ago and I was kind of waiting to, um, I don't know, I just thought it'd be a fun video to kind of experience this with you guys in real time. So that's what we're gonna do today. So uh, I have freshly cleansed, moisturized skin. The only cosmetics that I have on my face right now is a little bit of the Total um, Renewal 3-in-1 one, one Eye, which is like a color correcting, really sheer concealer. And then I have a little bit of brows, but I'm pretty much bare faced aside from those two products. So we're just going to kind of build from this. Um, okay, so I have a ton of products in front of me. I think the first thing I'm going to start with is their foundation. It is the Nude Illusion Liquid Foundation, and they sent me the shade, I believe they sent me the shade Medium. Yes, medium, and it's described as a weightless fluid foundation formulated for full coverage with natural radiant finish. Designed with a doe foot applicator, I like that, to deliver seamless coverage wherever you wander, cute. Enriched with a niacinamide and lotus flower to improve skin's radiance. Okay, well this looks like a good match for skin. Ooh, I can already tell, I think I'm gonna like the um, consistency of it because it looks, it, it doesn't look like a heavy consistency, which I really like. Yesterday I uh, tried La Mer foundation. I just got a sample of it from Nordstrom. I have been so on the fence about purchasing that foundation because it is like not, not cheap. <laughs> and they gave me a sample and I loved the consistency of that foundation. And this looks, this appears to be the same. So should I put a primer on? No, I'm not gonna put a primer on. We're just gonna, we're just going to, ooh, I do like this consistency a lot. I think that this is probably gonna be a good match for me too. So we're gonna start there. I didn't apply a ton, but I did apply a fair amount. And let's work with a brush. I'm just gonna work with this uh, e.l.f. Flawless Face Brush. I know I like this foundation brush, so we're gonna work with it. Okay, I do like this consistency. What I like about this consistency is it's really easy to blend out. Okay. The coverage is pretty impressive. It's more than I expected it to be. I think I probably did apply a little too much though here. It seems like I didn't really need that much because it does it does cover a lot and it blends out really easily. So a little bit goes a long way, if that makes sense. Like it gives good coverage and it also gives good coverage on the face in terms of, you know, how far it moves. Okay, I really like the way that blended out into the skin. I really, really liked the way that did. It was just easy, effortless, it didn't get patchy. It looks really nice. It's got a really pretty kind of like satiny glow. Not overly radiant, but, um, but there is a nice luminosity to the skin. That's really pretty. Okay, that is really, really nice. I kind of love the way that this looks right now. Since I feel like I applied too much, I'm gonna go in with a beauty blender and just kind of bounce it all over. This is basically gonna absorb any excess product that might be sitting on top of the skin, just to make sure that it wears nicely throughout the day. If I have too much product sitting on the skin, it's likely to move around or build up or break up and we don't want any of that. Okay, I really, really like that. I don't really think it did much to smooth out any texture in my skin. I guess I kind of feel like right here in the center, my pores are slightly more noticeable, which is kind of odd. Hmm. I don't know what it is, but right here, my pores have just gotten to be so noticeable over the last, I feel like over the last six months, I've noticed it happening more. I need to do something. What kind of facial treatments can I get to help with pore size reduction. Will you guys let me know in the comment section below? I really don't get much facial services done and I feel like it's time to start doing that regularly. Okay, next I'm gonna go with a concealer and this is the Dualist Matte and Illuminating Concealer. Matte and Illuminating, well that sounds really interesting. I'm curious about that. Oh, okay, so it has two sides. It has a matte stick side and then it has this liquid side for illumination. Okay, well, what do I wanna do? I think we should do, hmm, I think we're gonna do the illumination side. Ooh, okay, I really like this consistency. It feels very gel-like. 
and it feels hydrating. Ooh, I like that. That is very pretty. And I have the shade Light. That's the uh, shade that I was sent. Appears to be a nice bright shade. Um, I think it'll work great if you tend to, if I were to have darker circles, actually, let me rewind. I just remembered I have the uh, Total Eye 3 in 1 by Color Science on. I think if I did not have that on, I'm not sure if the light would be a good match for me because I do have dark circles and I'm worried that the light would um, not really conceal that darkness up. I do like the formula though. I wouldn't say that it gives really full coverage. Hmm, I don't know. I think the color is a little too light because I do still see some dark cast underneath it. And I think it's not necessarily the formulation. I think it's the um, color. I'm gonna take the matte side and we're gonna try the other side just because I'm really curious of how this works. Okay, this is a nice texture. I typically don't like like sticks like this because I feel like they can be drying. This feels more hydrating than others I've tried. Okay, definitely more matte. There is very big difference between the two concealers. I like that this product gives you two options though. I really like that because um, I think for me, I would probably apply the um, luminous uh, consistency underneath the eyes and I would use the matte stick for um, concealing on the skin or on the face. Yeah, the color's definitely a little too light, but aside from that, I, I like the the uh, payoff of it, the luminous side is really pretty under the eye. It does give um, a bit of a glow. It's not really giving me the coverage that I want though. And I can't t decide if that's just because the color's too light or it's the formula. So one thing I do know about Wander Beauty is the products are meant to be very multitasking and multi-purpose. Uh, I listened to an interview from the founder and that was like her whole thing about creating the brand. They wanted to create products for like um, busy women on the go. I feel like we are busier today than we ever have been. And so they wanted to create products that were multitasking. Okay, next I'm gonna go in and apply the On The Glow blush. And I have the shade, are there shades? Yes, I have the shade Petal Pink and then on the other side it's Nude Glow. So it has a highlighter stick on one side. Let's see what this looks like. It's pretty a highlighter stick. And then on the other side, it has the blush, which is petal pink, and it appears the blush doesn't really have any shimmer to it, but it is cream, so there is that glow from the texture of it. It's a really pretty color. I like that. And this can be used, I read, on the cheeks and the lips. And I'm just going to kind of pop this right there on my big old apples of my cheek. I've got some big old baby cheeks. <laughs> I'm just gonna pop that right there. What I like about uh, cream blushes is they're so easy to manipulate. You can get a lot of color from them or you can get very sheer color. I think they're beautiful for mature skin. When I used to work for MAC and they launched the cream blushes, that's when I was working for MAC when they launched those, so it was a long time ago. Um, I remember being obsessed with those uh, for more mature skin. Okay, and I'm just using the same foundation brush I used, and I'm just pressing the product into the skin. That's gonna blend it out. And I feel like I pressed it too, a little too much and blended it out to the point where you almost cannot even see it there. So I'm gonna go back and add a little more. You can also use your fingers to do this. Uh, what I like about using the foundation brush is that sometimes the fingers, if you wipe, they can kind of remove foundation if the foundation hasn't fully set. And I don't wanna do that, so um, I'm using the foundation brush. Okay, I'm gonna go back in and I'm gonna add a little bit more because I want a little more color. This is a beautiful color. This is like my perfect color. It's like the perfect peachy pink. So pretty. All right, just press, 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 press. And if you feel like it's splotchy or patchy anywhere, then you can just take the brush and kind of blend it out. Oh, that is so pretty. Okay, I kind of love this. I do feel a little too glowy right now though because you know I don't really like a really glowy look and I think with the concealer and the foundation, the blush, it's just too much glow for my personal taste, but it is beautiful. It is beautiful and if you like glowy, if you like glowy radiance all over, these products look really, really nice. But I think I would probably not pair them all together and just use, um, you know, mix them in with other products. Oh, that's so pretty. Okay, all right, I got a little carried away. I'm just gonna go over with a beauty blender. I like this, I feel like the skin looks kind of like, like I'm on a beach vacation and I just got a little sunburned and I'm kind of coming back from that, it's really pretty. So beautiful.
Okay, next we're gonna go in and set everything and I'm really excited to try this product. I did open it the other day to see what it was about, but I didn't apply it to the skin. It's the Play All Day Translucent Powder and it's really neat, I've never seen a product like this. So it comes in a compact and you open it and this is when I was really curious. I took out the powder puff and I'm like, uh, hello, where is the powder? There's no product in here. Well, all the product is in the puff. So you just basically kind of blot the um, puff on your face and that's how you get the product off. I'm gonna use this mirror. Okay, you guys, the skin looks so beautiful. Even though it's a little more glowy for my personal liking, it's beautiful. Like if it just stayed like this all day, I'd be happy. But the reason I shy away from really glowy skin is because I live in Texas and I get hot and sweaty and um, I don't like that. Okay, I don't know that anything is coming out. What is happening right now? Hmm, what am I doing wrong here? I'm very confused, I don't really know I don't really know if anything is coming out. Okay, when I tap it on my hand, I see a little. I feel like you kind of have to smack the face. <laughs> I feel like you kind of have to really press to get the product out. Yeah, it's okay, there you go. Okay, there you go. I think you just kind of have to work with it when you first open it. This one's brand new and nothing was coming out at first, but now, now it's coming out. It did subtly set everything without looking overly powdery. I'm not quite sure how I feel about this though. Um, I don't know. I think it's an interesting concept. I think I'll have to play with this more, keep this in my purse as a touch-up powder, but I'm not quite sure if I love that or if I kind of think, what's the point? I don't know. Okay, the next product is their brow pencil. And I did swatch this on my hand and I'm pretty sure this is gonna be too light, but we're gonna try it. It's the Frame Your Face Micro Brow Pencil. And it uh, has a spoolie on one side, as they all do. And then it has a really, really fine brow uh, pencil on the other. You can see the color right there. It appears to be a little too light um, and a little too warm, but let's try it out. Okay, um, I'm going to just create little hair-like strokes. My brows need to be tamed. I have an appointment in a couple of weeks with a girl that comes highly recommended by two of my friends here. So I'm really excited. She's supposed to be incredible. Okay, this brow pencil's nice. And I do think this color will work. I'm gonna go over it with the gel too, because I always do that. And I think once I add the gel, it'll be perfect. Wow, my brows are so out of control right now. They usually don't grow, so I never have to get them tweezed or like manicured. But I've been using, um, was it Revita Brow? I've been using a uh, brow growth serum and it's definitely worked because now I feel like they're a little bushy in certain areas. Okay, I like this brow pencil. I don't know that it would uh, replace my current product that I love, which is the NYX Micro Brow. No, it's not the Micro Brow, it's the uh, Precision Brow. I don't think this would replace it, but it's nice. I'm just gonna add a little bit of gel. This is the L'Oreal Brow Stylist. Okay, for eyes, I'm going to play with two Sydney and Grace uh, eyeshadows that I haven't yet played with. So I'm gonna set my eyes with a little eye primer first. I'm using the Milani Eye Primer and I'm just going to run this across my lids real sheerly. This is gonna give the shadow something to adhere to. Keep it on all day. Okay, so this is the shade San Diego, and it looks to be a very, very warm matte um, neutral shade. I'm gonna pop this in my crease. Ooh, I like this color. It's very, very pretty. Kind of reminds me of like a peanut butter color. I really do like this foundation. I think I definitely applied too much though. Next time I need to apply less. I think my pores appear to look a little larger because I did apply too much. I think if I had applied less, it wouldn't. they wouldn't look so noticeable. And I'm kind of focusing this in the crease, but I'm also bringing it on the outer half of the lid and even a little bit lower. I'm gonna go on the lid with a darker color, so it's okay if I get some of this on the lid. Next, I'm gonna pop this on my lid. This is the color Amber, and it is a gorgeous frosty bronze with a lot of warmth to it. I think this is gonna be really pretty. And I'm just gonna load my brush up and just kind of press this onto the eyelid. Ooh, that's pretty. This reminds me of the shade uh, Bronze from MAC, which is a shade that I used to wear all the time. For my brow highlight, I'm actually just gonna dip it into this color here and put this right underneath the brow. It's just a bright kind of matte 
banana color. Okay, I have a little bit of creasing underneath my eye, and I'm not sure if it's from the concealer by Wander Beauty or if it's from my color science, but I'm just gonna run my finger to blend that out. For timing purposes, I'm gonna do my liner and lashes off camera, and I'll be right back. So I forgot, I wanted to test the mascara on camera, obviously. I was gonna apply lashes, but then I remembered that I wanna try this. This is the Unlashed Volume and Curl Mascara, and on the box here, I don't know if you can see that, but the before and afters are pretty impressive. So I'm gonna try this mascara by itself. I'm not gonna apply any primer. Um, yeah, it doesn't say that any primer was used here. It says a three-in-one mascara that volumizes while instantly lengthening and lifting the lashes. It's infused with walnut seed extract, licorice root extract, and peach leaf extract. It conditions, strengthens, and moisturizes your lashes all in one swipe. Let's see about that. Okay, so this is what it comes like. It's in a little tube. Ooh, I like the wand. I like that there's a curve to the wand. All right, let's give this a try. I'm excited. I really like that I'm able to test mascaras now that I don't have lash extensions. So I'm gonna just get this right on the root of my lash. I actually, this is a little tip. I was gonna do a five minute Friday video on this. I still probably will, so it's in a separate video. But when I apply my mascara, I like to actually start by closing my eyes because you can really, really get right there at the root of the lash. Hmm, okay, a little impressive. I don't know that the results are as dramatic as what I saw on the box. Let me load this brush up a little bit more and add another coat. I definitely think it lifts and curls the lashes though. And it looks to give like a soft, um, like a soft lash look, which I like. Okay, I like this. I think it's good. I definitely think I want a little bit more lash though. So I'm gonna add a little more and see if that gets me to where I wanna be. And if not, I'm gonna try it on the other eye with a primer and see if it gets me where I wanna be. Because I almost always use a lash primer with mascara. Okay, this is really nice. This is really nice, you guys. Lots of volume good length, good curl and lift, and they look natural. Natural in the sense that they don't look like clumped together, they look soft and separated. That's really pretty. Okay, let's try it on the other side with primer and see what kind of results we get. And there it is, there's my favorite primer. We're gonna try the Dior Maximizer Primer. This is my favorite lash primer. It just makes every mascara look amazing. Now let's go in with this, and if you missed my dupes video, I actually have a really great, great dupe for this. It's the L'Oreal Lash Primer. Um, pretty similar results and a fraction of the price. Okay, then we're gonna go in with the Wander Beauty Mascara. I think this is gonna give more drama because after one coat, it's about the intensity of a couple of coats on the other side. What do you guys think? I do think the left side with primer is slightly more dramatic. I do think this mascara gives a really, really good noticeable curl, and I like it. I definitely like it. I don't think it's as dramatic as some of the other mascaras, but it's very, um, it gives good length and good volume. Okay, so we're gonna do the lower lashes, and I think I really will like this on the lower lash because it is soft and feathery. It's just gonna have a softer look on the lower lashes. I forgot I'm gonna line the inner waterline with this pencil here. It's the Secret Weapon Pencil, and it is a nude shade. You guys know I really like a nude liner in my inner rim, and this one is a nice, like, pale, peachy shade, which I like it to have a little bit of peach or pink to it, because I think it's just, um, it's just more natural looking than like a stark white liner in the inner rim. And I'm gonna just softly run this across the inner rim. Oops. Okay, that's nice, it just gives a soft brightness. For lips, I'm gonna use this Lip Setter Duo Crayon, and I'm excited about this. One, I think the packaging is stunning, stunning. I love this, it is so, so beautiful. Uh, it has a lip crayon on one side, which appears to be a really pale, pinky nude shade. And then on the other side, it has a lip pencil, which I'm sure is going to match this. Yes, here is the liner. So just a nice, pretty, pale, peachy pink. And we are going to line the lips. I'm slightly overlining my lips a little for more volume. 
Okay, that has a lot of pigment, much more than I thought. One thing I will say is I raised it so I could show you guys the color and I didn't lower it. And apparently there's not a lot of space in the cap. So I need to make sure I lower it entirely because I did smush the top inside this lid and I didn't even have it rolled up too high. So if you get this, make sure that you roll it all the way down because now I can see some in the cap it's stuck. It feels nice and creamy on the lips, kind of like a creamy matte. And that wraps up this look. So recap, I got to try a lot of products today. And for the most part, I really enjoyed all of them. Uh, some of them I learned some things uh, as far as the foundation goes. I think I really like this, depending on how it wears throughout the day, of course. I've only had this on for 30 minutes, so who knows how it's gonna perform. But it looks really pretty. Um, I think this would be a really great option for dry, normal skin. Um, maybe not oily skin because it does have that radiance to it. I think next time I'm gonna apply less foundation and see if that helps minimize the appearance of my pores right here uh, because I do think it kind of slightly uh, made them a little more noticeable. And again, I think it's because I applied too much of it and it's a radiant foundation and that can happen when you use radiant foundations. Um, the concealer, uh, it could be that I got the wrong shade, but it didn't really give me the coverage that I would have wanted. Uh, I, I think it's the wrong shade though. If I had had a darker shade, perhaps I would have gotten more coverage. I do think if you like a natural concealer, um, this could be really nice. So, and I do like the option that there's a matte and an illuminating side, um, but that's probably, this would probably be one of the products I need to play with more to decide my opinion. The brow pencil is, uh, nice, but it's probably not something that, it's not something that I would replace what I'm currently using. Everything else. Also, I really enjoyed, oh, actually the powder, um, the Play All Day Translucent Powder. I'm not quite sure how I feel about this. I think it's an interesting concept. I just don't know if I was able to get the uh, as enough, enough product from the puff that I wanted. But again, I might need to play with it, kind of bounce it around to get that product working. Um, that's the thing about first impressions. You know, it's hard to give like a definite opinion on something because I could use this over the course of the week and decide that I actually love it. And then here I have this video that I put out saying I didn't like it. So I just wanna give you, again, this is in a first impression, so take it for what it is. But the products that I'm really impressed with are, I do like the foundation a lot. I really think it's beautiful. I need to use less of it next time, but I think it's a good product. I really do like the way the foundation looks. I think applying less of it next time will be a better, um, give me better results. I really like this blush stick. I didn't try the uh, illuminating side of it, but I really like the blush. I think it's a beautiful, beautiful color, and you can see that it just gives this really nice natural glow on the cheeks. I really like this lip product, um, really cool. I definitely wanna check and see what other colors they have in it. Um, the mascara is nice, I like the mascara. Uh, what else did we try? The, um, oh, I didn't show this on camera, but I did apply this to my lips before we started. It is called Beach Balm, and it's essentially like a um, lip moisturizer is what it is. It's kind of like a balm for your lips, and I just love the packaging. It's clear, so there's no color to it, but I did kind of prime my lips, and I really like this a lot. Uh, what else did we use that I really, really liked? So yeah, overall, I like the brand and I'm uh, happy that I had an opportunity to try it. Thank you, Wander Beauty, for sending me these products and letting me share them on my channel. As always, you guys, I'll have everything that I use linked in the description box below, including the products that are non-Wander Beauty related. Those will be linked as well. Um, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.